What up with your boy Naftastic and welcome back to another episode of my United series. We're coming back for the month of September and I'm trying to change up that formation where I can accommodate two strikers. As you saw I switched to the 4-2-2-2 which I proposed. I think it will work a little bit better. We have a lot of strength in attacking midfield and up front now. So we'll see how it plays out. It might become our formation of choice away from the 4-2-3-1. We'll see how it ha well, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, as for now, we're two trophies up <laughs> within a month, so good start. We lost our unbeaten run, so you know everything has to come to an end. But we try to build on that. Um, we've been pay uh, put as favourites, rather as um, there's no one really else. <laughs> I thought Real Madrid would be up there, but apparently Barcelona are joint favourites. But yeah. But for now, we've got Southampton first. Um, we have a very good record against them. Not even drawn against them before, so I hope to carry that on again. Um, sticking for the 4-2-3-1 for now, because Southampton are a good side. We're playing against Hernandez, so quite a tricky opposition. I'm going to put Thiago in that number 10 role, and Zalalem, where he's sort of dictating the tempo alongside Fellaini. Oh, Aguero! <laughs> <laughs> Injured already. Alright, we got Rooney. We have got Rooney, so he can fill in. It's not bad. There you go. Oh. We're still waiting to get to our fluid best. There's been games and moments where we've looked like that, but it's not consistent. And oh. Ricky Lambert. Can't give that man a chance. He will punish you. Well, we'll just have to bounce back from that. So, uh, there you go. Keep that pressure up. Instant response. Waza. Go on, lads. Southampton on letting up. That's for sure. Good defending there. Push him back. Oh, Rio, I forgot about him. Oh. Come on. Thiago's just picked up a little knock as well. Straight over to Andres Pereira. There's more than capable to fit in. Nice. Drive down that wing. Yeah, there you go. Oh, unlucky. Oh, chance, oh god, to bury those. It's a shocking miss. Um, what's going on? Oh, the changes. There you go. And that should see us through to half time. 1 1. It's not the end of the world, but we hope to have seen better. Hopefully, the second half we can uh, build on it. Southampton are still creating chances. Come on, boys. Going to make one final change here. Put Jim Molyneux up top. <coughs> Alongside um, Rooney in the new 4 2 2 2. Give it now. Uh, first run out. See how we get on. Here we go. There you. It's a good opportunity here. Come on, boys. Red card for them as well. Fourteen minutes to get that goal. Poor free kick. Uh, it's not going to happen today, is it? Oh, one last chance. No. There you go, 1-1. One, one. <sighs> not delighted with the result, but not devastated either. Who's a good... Good showing, wait. 
We're still not there. We're still not clicking completely. You can definitely see the difference from last season to this season. Still trying to sort of uh, get used to each other, understand new systems, new ways of working. As long as we don't lose too many games, I think we'll still be in the title race. Uh, and with teams around us dropping points, then it just helps our cause. Um, but now that we've got AC Milan away, given how we're playing, I would have hoped we could win this. Uh, Angelo Henriquez isn't available for them, so that'll be a problem for them to deal with. But I think we have enough quality to beat them. I really do. Only thing that's holding us back at the minute is our chemistry. How about that? I'm piling it on. I'm here, I'm on the break. Oh, it's almost a perfect pass. It's good, it's good. There you go. Rooney. Rooney. Bury it. Great goal. Shinji's gone down and it seems every time we start like <laughs> having a good break we just get another injury it's just holding us back even more come on boys let's not let up this time that's a good pass sloppy giving the ball away too much Oh, it's a good goal. Predatory, good. It's just a great finish. Good, good run and a great finish. So, defending is even starting to take a drop. I mean, that's a type of marking I'd expect better from. And oh my god, what the hell happened there? Talk about bad luck. Alberto Lachi's played brilliantly, he's been a difference maker. We've been sloppy after going a goal up. That's it, come on. Let's get on the front foot. We're the defending champions. Let's play like it. There you go, drive. Yeah, nice. Win that corner. for a sub I think who can be a difference maker for me for that sort of conditions aren't even like exemplary either I'll do that bring Jim on and put Rooney in attacking midfield drop Thiago into sort of the central midfield role where he's a little bit better actually He's very good pulling the strings from there. There you go, that's it, keep it moving. Sorry, Lucy Milan, sorry, <laughs> got distracted for a second. Um, oh, they are they are working us right now. Boys, let's win that ball, keep possession. Oh. <laughs> set piece bails us out again we're not winning but a draw at the moment feels like a win because we've been so under pressure can we sneak one let's take a 2-2 two -two. it's away from home so at the San Siro 2-2 two is not the, a bad result at, at all but we've become so used to winning almost every game that <laughs> we feel a little bit let down it's all right. There's still time left in the season. It's still very early stages. We're losing players to injury, which is not helping at all. But we set a new record for being unbeaten in Champions League. We just need to performance. Hold on our performances. Show some improvement. I mean, it's a it's a time game. It's not really something that's just gonna, you know, 
happen if I change a little bit of a tactic here and there. It's a familiarization. Maybe I should do this a bit of team cohesion training. That could help. Anyway, we've got Arsenal. We have a good record against them too. We've beaten them already. Oh, let's keep that pressure up. There you go, keep that possession up. Piano just got a knock, but I think he can run it off. So hardly the most entertaining first half, but there's still another 45 minutes of action for us to win. We're at home, so it should really be advan advantage us, but come on, that's it. Rooney is on his game. Come on, boys. There you go. Looking a lot more fluid. Nice. Come on. Thiago with that goal. That'll only boost his confidence. Again, I should get used to this right now. Stop up player well, get a big injury. Lost Kagawa last game, now Raphael to injury. It's right, we've got players to cope. That's why we invested in the summer. Didn't let Michael King go out just for this reason. It's going to give Nick Powell a game as well. Why not? Two goals up. Phil Jones in the yellow, why take the risk? Fifteen minutes in it, and since uh, the last goal, we haven't seen much. But we're back on attack. Cross it in. Yes, Thiago with a second, and that should be game set and match. Let's just close it out now. There you go, boys. Solid win, good result, and we're skyrocketing the league now. Unlock an achievement, irresistible force, shows how much we're scoring every game. I think that's like 30 games in a row we've scored in. Just run through this press conference. My win percentage is really good. We're quite fortunate, really. I think the team, there's a transition. Teams around us haven't been at their best, so it has helped our cause. Arthur Wenger has tried to like, add some fuel to the fire, but I mean, there's not really much from his side which is helping his cause in that argument. Anyway, we've got Hull in the next game. I think it's a capital one cup match gonna rest a lot of players I think which could make it tricky but I'd hope to have my backups have enough in them to uh, get past Hull we have a very good record against them as you can see four matches yet to draw obviously these things will change over time but it's like times like this where you've got a few injuries you need to rest a few legs that's when you lean on players. Haven't really made much change because conditionally the players that are available aren't just there, it's just not fit and ready. A lot of them are playing reserve team football too. So Hull do have an advantage or an edge that team isn't at full fitness, but I'd hope even at 50% we can do the job. Got free kick here. Oh, I could save. Mm. 
There you go. Oh, gotta score those. Gotta score those. There you go, lads. Van Persie puts us a goal up. It's been it's been tougher than it needed to be. But see ourselves into half time with a lead. Now it's really about making them work really hard to get anything out of this. Having all the stats go our way, but as you know, you need that second goal really to kill the game off. Oh, gone. Oh, I should have scored. Come on, boy. Let's get that second. It's been all loss. That's good play by them. Break it down, boys. There you go. Oh, and a red card for them. This really now should be a matter of just working the space. Oh, come on, boys. Boys, that is disappointing. Set piece as well. It's one of our strengths. That's right. It looks like it's going into extra time then. Or is there a late twist? Go on. Oh. It's been sloppy in that final third. Oh, go on. Oh, what a save. With our fixture condition, injury time is the last thing you want. Player that tried to score in regular time, but it's just not come. So here we go. Injury time against 10 men Hall. Come on, really knacker him out. Couple of subs just bring on some fresh legs. Nice. Oh, how's that not gone in? It's just not a day at the minute. It's gonna come, boys. Just keep pushing for it. second half now keep the pressure up that's all we need to do switch the attack and make them work for the last five minutes see if we can get anything from it otherwise otherwise this is going to penalties oh no what have you done for Laney so unnecessary I mean was he really going anywhere Silly decision. So it's 10 v 10. This is probably going to penalties for sure now. There you go. Penalty shootout. You know anything can happen here. Van Persie buries it. Huddleston. Good penalty. Balanta with that South American flair. Go on boys. Great save. It's not a bad peno either. Good peno. Went the right way, couldn't stop it. Sermon, similar, good. Lenazai, oh, good placement there. It's a good peno again. This one to win it. Good lads. Good lads. It was a struggle that game. Much more than it needed to be. But we got the desired result. Still only two chances was it? Hey, they made it count. They made it really work for that result. Saidi Janko actually had a good debut at right back. I must say. But for the rest of the team, we need to start improvement on that. We're a better team than that. We should be playing better and winning with much more ease. But sometimes you need to grind results out like that. And um Hopefully, it doesn't happen too often. A fine Fellaini, and he's not responded too well. I think it's like a second or third red card this season, so I thought it was merited. 
we'll return to it if it comes back again. Otherwise, I'm just going to let leave it be. So I'm getting a Ronaldinho news updates on uh, my feed because I've signed him as a coach, so it's one to look out for. I wonder if I can still play him as a player. <laughs> Def have it. Definitely have a cheeky game or two with him. Anyway, here's a fourth round draw, and we have got West Ham. Again, a premiership opposition. You never really want those. You want nice, easy ties against lower league opposition. But, hey, like playing the better teams means that you can avoid complacency. First things first, we've got Newcastle. Um... They've always been one of the trickier t teams to beat for me. I always find that every game very, very hard, very nerve-wracking. I played Janko just after his uh, good performance against Hull. He gets another game. Oh, go on, there you go. Sloppy from the Newcastle midfielders, gave us possession. And once the ball's through to Van Persie, you better expect just going in the back of the net. There you go. Oh, good save. We're capitalising on Newcastle mistakes. That's what matters. Slop poor cross. Poor cross that. There's a good chance to extend the lead as well. It's been all last this this half. Oh. Not all oh, that. Get away with that. Newcastle dealt with it and then gave it straight back to us and we almost made them pay for it. So we go into half time one nil up. I've seen very little from Newcastle today. It's been one of the poorer performances I've seen them have against us. And they're just gonna go and score now, aren't they? <laughs> no they didn't. The hair stops it. There you go, there you go, add some cushion to it, finally. Oh, that's a good pass, oh, should be scoring. Newcastle are up for it now, 70 minutes in. So, bring on the fresh legs. Get away with that, unscathed. Um, and with the fresh players on, should not have too much trouble seeing this game out. Hey lads, let's come on. There you go, boys. Oh, God, what a finish. That is how you close the game out. Beautiful. I think I might set myself the challenge of getting more 20 strikers to have 20 goals this season. They started very well. Aguero is going to come back soon enough. This is brilliant to watch, really. Really fun at the moment. It was second place. Uh, and that's where the stuttering starts. So once we're, we hit the groove, I think this league is asked to be won. Just go full steam ahead and see what we can do. I think I have one last game this month. Um, I think it might be against Ajax, actually. There you go, so against Ajax. So we only play them twice with a win and a draw. Just um, add another win to that. So going with the 4 2 2 2. Give it a uh, proper debut. It's good hustle. Pressure up the pitch. It's nice to see. Uh, lack of width could be a worry, and the lack of protection for the threats is another potential worry, but 
rely on my midfield to be intelligent about it. And oh, yes, what a finish. Fan Percy buries that. It's all us at the minute. I don't know why we're the ones playing in uh, blue at home. But oh yes. He's added a second goal. Maybe it's because they're awake. It has a bit of red in it. Why? Probably the reason why. But oh, come on. Don't let him get away with that. It's better. Set the shape. <sighs> We've been letting these goals in. It's a bit sloppy from us. Our defence is typically better than that. Oh, that's a sloppy mistake from their goalkeeper. But we will take it. Goal is all near post goal is always welcome. Three one up, and uh, should be able to curse it from here. Just play sensible football, nothing silly. We should be home and dry. Come on, boys. Let's change it up. Got a few drones on. Why not use them? Had the experience and then got Molyneux. He can get a game. Same with Zalalem. Adds to their development. So worthwhile stuff. Especially with the game pretty much in our ha in our hands and at home. See if we can add another goal, that would be delightful. Oh beauty. Another poor bit of goalkeeping from uh Alex's goalkeeper, but Oh, sloppy, we should have scored that. Oh, what a miss. Handed it straight to us. Nick Powell's down injured. I can't do anything about that. Just have to carry on. Just going to drop uh, Andreas Pereira build or into midfield or in sort of that deeper midfield role. And um, should be done. There you go. So, a very good month of... September, we haven't had any losses. No, we had a few tough games, a few close matches, but we managed to stay unbeaten. We're flying up the league. It's looking good. Anyway, next time we'll come back for the month of October. Um, but until then, I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye now.